Mga ka-good news, dahil hindi natin nakikita ang total solar eclipse sa Amerika, ito na ngayon ang video na kuha natin sa mga vlogger doon sa Amerika na nag-cover nito at atin panoorin ang napagagandang pangyayaring phenomena. A little under three minutes, the forces of darkness ruled in daylight. Night falling across America. Good day from CBS News in New York. We have cameras all along the path of the total eclipse of the sun. We're hearing applause as we're finding out that uh, the world is not coming to an end. It is as dark as night. In 1979, the United States will be involved in another total eclipse. The great swath of shadow cut across the continent from the coast of Oregon to Greenland. It was really a very incredible experience. I scared to death. It was the last total eclipse of the sun for North America until the year 2017. Oh, you can see it. You can see it. There it is. Look at the corona. See it? This is just incredible. Yeah, it's gone. It's, it's gone. gone. It's gone. It's gone. next total solar eclipse visible in the continental U.S. is April 8th, 2024. All right, Nate, thank you so much. That's a great explanation that Nate just gave us. Let's bring in now Bill and Lucianne again, because right now, well, actually, I think in like 30 seconds from now, totality in Mazatlan, Mexico, the total eclipse happening there. You experienced it in 2017. What's it like? to see the corona, which you cannot see uh, unless the sun is completely blocked out. The corona is the outer atmosphere of the sun. It's millions of degrees hot. You see the details, and we're looking at this picture of the eclipse from Mazatlan right now, and you can see the corona around the edge. It's in totality or extraordinarily close to it. It's just a remarkable sight. Lucien, I, I was talking to somebody who's going to be joining us later, an amateur astronomer, who told me that part of what makes an eclipse so exciting is unlike a sporting event where we're on different teams, we're all on team sun and moon, right? We <laughs> all We all depend on them. And it's one thing to see the models and the charts and everything, and quite another to look up and witness both at the same time. Talk to me about the first time you experienced it and what you think people here behind me are going to be looking at. That's what makes this eclipse so unusual and it comes right through north america where millions and millions of us can share the experience it's fantastic and what i'm very gratified to see is so many people watching it together it's nighttime it's talk to us about yeah. how dark it really is know. because it's really it looks it it's 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 like it is at uh, 10 o'clock at night here in here in texas we've been here a week in kerrville and uh, this is this is nighttime. This is full darkness. And look at everybody, just the awe, just enjoying this moment. Uh, and it's a lot cooler as well. well. But so happy for us here, and it's just been great. We are back. The sun and the moon are still doing their thing. And as we promised, Dallas, Texas, next up on the punch list to get that moon shadow and Omar Villafranca is there. He's experiencing what I am told. Is it full yet, Omar? What do you see? Oh, we are 30 seconds away from totality, Tony. I'm looking at it right now. And let me tell you, time to take the glasses off. It is almost like it's night out here. These kids are getting the best science lesson they could ever get. I mean, when is when is the last time you saw kids this excited for science? This is what it's all about. So much, so much to see here. Now we're starting to see a lot of darkness. It's almost like you're playing a night game here at the Cotton Bowl without the lights. Just take a look. I mean, we are 1.40 central time here. Amazing. Just listen to the kids. This is what it's about. fly over so I'm sure the folks on that plane have a fantastic view if they're on the proper side of the airplane I mean Tony everything that we built up that it was it would look like it looks like it is fantastic Omar is this your first one well no I saw one last year in San Antonio but it was not like this I mean, 
We're getting a shot right now that I hope you can see. I mean, that is, put that in a science wow. book, but these kids got to see it firsthand. The clouds parted. Let me tell you, credit to, credit to all the meteorologists who warned us. But it is incredible. It really is amazing. Uh, well, maybe not incredible. It is amazing. It is wonderful, as in full of wonder. Awesome, yes, as in truly full of. It, it brings awe to each of us, and that I mean, in the non-cliched sense of the word, and that is rare. Totally. I feel like Bill, you're starting to get a little emotional. <laughs> it almost has a sepia tone. Is that the right way to describe it? Yeah. Almost like it's like there's a haziness that's descending upon us. It, is, it was so it, hot before. So 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 hot, and now there is a, a hard metallic quality. It's getting chillier, the wind is picking up, and the light is really changing. Do not uh, adjust your television. The people behind us, it's been raucous all day, but now people are quieting down as the, the significance of the moment the feeling of it, the experience kind of rushes in. I'm Ali. We have a totality tracker in front of us. Every city um, where there is going to be hitting this totality, and uh, I'm kind of in awe. I don't want to go anywhere. I almost don't want to. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I mean, the, the little ginger cookie of the sun, when we look up, when we began, there was just that little nibble of it. Uh, and now it's a crescent moon, really. Oh, wow. It's a shaped like a, a great sickle. That's all that's left. Totality. It's happening right now it's in here. Carbondale, Illinois, the <laughs> intersection of the 2017 and 2024 eclipse. And you're looking live as we see the last bit of sunlight wrapping around the moon. Totality just seconds away. And as you look closely, Marie, we're going to see the sparkles, the Bailey beads, and the crowd is going wild. Oh, and we are falling into darkness right now. What an incredible sensation. And you are hearing and seeing the crowd of 15,000 gathered here at Southern Illinois. There it is, Incredible. Bailey Beads, Bailey Beads, and we're about to see the diamond ring effect and about to cameras out. They're yelling. They were stopping their feet just a few minutes ago. I got to tell you, the vibe and the energy here is unlike anything I've ever experienced. Physically, I have to say our hearts have been racing. I know we're not the only ones that includes everyone in the stands. Leading up to this moment, that darkness happened so quickly. We've had a pretty hot day. The winds came in. We had that cooling sensation. And now, while we're in a stadium with thousands of people, we know that scientists are working to study the different animals and, and other uh, things happening in the natural world right now as we are in four minutes and nine seconds of totality. You know, one thing also, Marie, that I've been thinking about is we are in a football stadium. We are in a place where, you know, during the fall and into parts of the winter, it's us versus them. There's always, <laughs> we want to get them. But today we are Americans, we are humans, we are taking in this experience that is unlike anything I've ever seen. What you're looking at is the total solar eclipse, the outer layer of the sun, the corona. And as we've been uh, talking to experts all day, it is a very active sun. So you see the flares, you're, you see the kind of little streamers coming off the sun. It almost looks like it's it's not real. I know it does. It's, it's an out of body experience for sure. What else makes Carbondale so special specifically in this year is in 2017, it had the longest time of totality, uh, well into two minutes, which made it really special. That was the longest point uh, for the entire path of totality. This year, it's not quite the longest, but it's still almost double that time, that four minutes and nine seconds. So we're really getting to luxuriate in this experience of looking up uh, at these total solar eclipse. It's calmer. It's also cooler. Uh, about an hour ago, when it was full sunshine, we were in the low 80s. We're now in the low 70s. So yeah, it feels cool, and everyone is uh, is enjoying it. You just see folks with their phones out. They want to mm -hmm. capture this moment, something that they want to uh, have in their pocket, want to have on their computer for uh, years and decades to come. Oh my gosh, and I'm glad I'm sharing it with you. This is an incredible Likewise. experience. Likewise, the, the folks here at Southern Illinois University in Carbondale, it's a small community, around 25,000, so welcoming and so excited for the restaurants and the diners that we went to, uh, just on fire, excited about what we're seeing right now. It's true, and talk about that excitement. I'm starting to see that light at the horizon get a little bit brighter as we near the end of our totality here in Carbondale. So our eclipse coverage will continue Continue, but some of our CBS stations uh, will be leaving us as totality moves north. And welcome back to this front 
row seat to majesty. There are more than 50,000 people here. And look, you could hear a pin drop. Oh my gosh, you really It's could. amazing. <laughs> We're with the Messerschmitt family. And how many eclipses have you seen? This is my Bye. fourth.